Okay, class. Uh, good morning. So our lesson for two is today is about civil engineering history. Okay. So this is lesson two, satang module. So I hope uh you can follow our lectures. So what are these hard learning outcomes? We have one. You should know how to define the basics of civil engineering and two you could understand the civil engineering in daily life so okay yung akong lecture is nanis ano canvas itong lesson 2 na module check lang ninyo dito sa atong ano LMS okay we have a brief history so asagi ka ng engineering na word so it comes from Latin words ingenious, which means clever person. So engineer cleverly uses the available natural resources for the benefit of mankind. So each engineer provides comfort to mankind and makes life comfortable. Do you agree with the statement? No. Kung no, Think of places or mga projects na wala ang ah, civil engineer na ba? Murag wala, di ba? So, most of the mga in infrastructures na nasa itong palibot ka ron is connected sa civil engineering na profession. So, civil engineering has been an aspect of life since the beginnings of human existence. So, the earliest practices of civil engineering may have originated between 4000 and 2000 BC in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. So, when humans started to abandon a nomadic existence, thus causing a need for the construction of shelter. So, from the beginning pa lang daw, nag-exist na ang ano, civil engineering So, from the construction of pyramids in Egypt, might be the first instances of large structure construction. So, this is the example of the pyramids in Egypt. So, possible daw na engineer ang nag-construct ng ano, pyramids in Egypt. And around 2500 BC, Imhotep, the first documented engineer. So, si Imhotep, ang pinakauna na documented engineer sa kalibutan. He built a famous step pyramid for King Yoser located at Sakara Necropolis. So, it mo ang iyang example na step pyramid. His greatest contribution to the engineering was his discovery of the art of building. With shaped stones or those who followed him carried engineering to remarkable heights using skill and imagination. Okay. Ancient historic civil engineering constructions include the Kanat water management system. So this is the older than 3,000 years and longer than 71 kilometers. So grabe no. Grabe ka taas. 71 kilometers water system. So usually underground man eh sa mga desert para dili siya ma mag evaporate or dehydrate dahil ang tubig so muna ang water system sa mga ano Arab countries also one example is the Parthenon by Ictinos in ancient Greece the Appian Way by Roman engineers and the Great Wall of China by General Meng Chin so mga ni ilang mga some notable uh, infrastructure built by in civil engineer sa mga una pa panahon very ancient so kung makita ninyo ang iyang mga structural uh, structural members kini mga columns oh. ligon pa kayo buhi pa pila na thousand of years ang lumipas na pagyapon siya so yung ana siya kay strong 
no? Kita ninyo. So the stupa is constructed in ancient Sri Lanka like the Jeta Panoramaya and existence irrigation works in Anurad Hapura. The Romans developed civil structures throughout their empire including especially aqueducts, insulae, harbors, bridges, dams and roads. So this is an example of uh, sa Sri Lanka a uh, worship temple para ni sa mga ano Buddha. So kato mga ancient structures ingon sila wala pa daw semento or mga concrete sa una. Ang ginagamit pa daw is kanang white egg. <laughs> Grabe no. Ang nakaligo ng white egg. Or egg white egg. So other remarkable historical structures are Sina Cherib's Aqueduct at Jerwan, built in 691 BC. Li Ping's Irrigation Projects in China. Julius Caesar's Bridge. And numerous bridges built by other Romans in and around Rome. Pont de Garde, built in 19 BC. The extensive systems of highways the Romans built. The first dikes defending against high water in Priceland, the Netherlands around 1000 AD, and so on and so forth. So, yung ano kadaghan, ang mga notable uh, infrastructure built long time ago. So, sa Peru, naapot tong Machu Picchu. So, ikumpaga mao ni siya ang uh, township sa pinakaunang panahon. So, built at around 1450 at the height of the Inca Empire. So, tuktok ni sa bukid. is considered an engineering marvel. So, it was built in the Andes Mountains, assisted by some of history. Most ingenious water resource engineers. Yeah, wano. No? So, dia, sa pinakatap sa bukid, <coughs> nagbot sila ng ano, mga water system para magkatubig din na part. So, if you can imagine top of the mountain no? sa unang panahon kung saan nila na pag uh, buhat or pag plan so the people of Machu Picchu built a mountain top city with running water kaya ako no? wala pa kayo high tech na may equipment na naparato sa unang panahon but nakabuild sila ano, water system on top of the mountain so food production and stone structures so advanced that they endured for over 500 years. Grabe. So, siguro sa panahon, sa panahon nila, mo na yung pinaka highly civilized na, ano, community. Okay. So, have question? So, you can ask questions under the comment section. Okay. So, one of the earliest examples of scientific approach to physical and mathematical problems applied by civil engineering is the work of Archimedes. So I'm sure familiar man muni Archimedes, no? His one of his work is the about Archimedes principle, which underpins our understanding of buoyancy and practical solution such as Archimedes screw. Isapodia is si Brahmagupta. An Indian mathematician used arithmetic in the 7th century AD based on Hindu Arabic numerals for excavation or computation, volume computation. So, wow. Mani mga bright sa unang panahon. Wala pa na calculator. Ayan gagamit kay Hindu Arabic numerals lang. Pag compute sa volume. So imagine sa unang panahon siguro since wala pa kayo mga civil engineers life is ano lisod lisod siguro mabuhi itong mga unang panahon no So history of civil engineering institution so 
in the 18th century, so during 18th century, nag-start ang use sa term na civil engineering, which is to coin to incorporate all things civilian as opposed to military engineering. So the first engineering school is the National School of Bridges and Highway in France, which was opened in 1747. So the first self-proclaimed civil engineer was John Smeaton, who constructed the Eddystone Lighthouse. So in 1771, Smeaton and some of his colleagues formed the Smithsonian Society of Civil Engineers. So kinigdi ay si Smeaton ang pinaka-first na civil engineer. Ang Eddystone Lighthouse po ang iyang uh, first project. Okay. No, no, kung buhi pa ba ng National School of Bridges and Highways? Pa, ko ano lang, research sa Google. But during 1818, World's First Engineering Society, the Institution of Civil Engineers, was founded in London. Okay? So, Institution of Civil Engineers sa London, the Enigy, ag start And in 1820, the eminent engineer Thomas Telford became its first president. So, in the institution received a royal charter in 1828, formally recognizing civil engineering as a profession. So, its charter defined civil engineering as, so it said that civil engineering is the application of physical and scientific principles and its history is intricately linked to advances in understanding of physics and mathematics throughout history. Because civil engineering is a wide-ranging profession, including several specialized sub-disciplines, its history is linked to knowledge of structures, material science, geography, geology, soil, hydrology, environment, mechanics, and other fields. Okay. Okay. So, kung saan yun ang ginabuhat sa civil engineer? So, do you know what a civil engineer does? You should kay mga student mo sa civil engineer. So, I'm sure na anas sa inyong mga mind. Kung saan mga ginabuhat as civil engineer. So, it is one of the oldest and most extensive branches of engineering. Civil engineer focuses on aspects of public works like transportation, water treatment, government buildings, public facilities such as airports, train station, and other large-scale projects which benefit the public. Okay, so civil engineer must be able to design safe structures which meet standard codes. So, di ilang basta-basta mag-design ha, na ay mga codes nga ginapalo. Standard codes. So, these structures must be designed with maintenance, efficiency, and ensure that they will endure through years of use. So, usually, uh, sa ato, dapat mawitsan niya ang 15 years. About siya 15 years. So, in terms of transportation, CE build bridges, tunnels, freeway interchanges, and structures which are designed to facilitate the smooth even flow of traffic. Water treatment includes sewage plants, delivery systems for fresh water, dumps, and other facilities which handle fresh and waste water. Okay? So, muna ang ginabuhat sa civil engineer. So, kana ay uh, example na sa uban. Uh, medyo kulang pa ni siya na ano, part. So, what are the important skills of being a civil engineer? So, number one, leadership skills. Must be able to lead a diverse team of professionals including surveyors, construction managers, technicians, contractors, architects, urban planners, transportation engineers. So, the effectiveness of CE leadership skills may be a significant determining factor in keeping a project on time and on budget. So, do you have the leadership skills? Ask, you, ask yourself if you have. Kay kung wala, pag-ship na mo habang sa'yo pa. <laughs> Joke lang. 
So, kini naman mga skills. Uh, Siyempre, ang mga skills sa isa ka individual, uh, usually, dili man siya inborn or na na sa ato. So, skills uh, may be learned. Pwede siyang ano, matutunan or ma-upgrade. Okay? So, don't worry kung sa ngayon, wala kayong mga ganyang skills. As you grow older, uh, pwede man na siya, ano, ma-learn. Okay? So, kabal na mo siguro what is leadership, di ba? And yung how you will lead a project. Usually, diha na kay mga compose of uh, other professions na i-handle nimo. Ang pinakalisod lang sa leadership when you are in the leadership management is ka nang pag-handle sa mga gahig ulo ng mga individual or tao. Based on my experience, so ano kinahandle ng mga other professionals, mga contractors, urban planners, ano yung pinakalisod diha is ka nang mga i-handle ng mga contractors sa akong ano, experience. Kaya usually, kung wala, hindi mo sila gina supervise or monitor, magbuot-buot ra dito sila. O say, ang mga codes, mga plans, wala na nila gina follow. So, when you are nasa ana mo sa operation, make sure na ang inyong mga contractors is nagkasunod sa, sa mga standard. So, hopefully, dapat uh, karon pa lang matrain na ninyo ang inyong ano, paging leadership skills para sa during actual or when you are already a civil engineer at least hindi na kaya mong maglisod. So, karon pa lang kung manay mga groupings, activities, so try to become a leader and you will learn from it. Okay? Next skills of a civil engineer is a critical thinking. So, it is the ability to reason inductively and deductively, applying general rules to specific problems and combining many specific pieces of information to form broad conclusions. So, dapat po di ay ang isang civil engineer is critical. Critical mag-isip. So, what does it mean of critical thinking? Yung parang ano, uh, kunyari may biglang dumating na problema, dapat makakapag-isip ka agad ng solusyon. Or bago dumating ang prob isa ka problema, uh, dapat uh, may iwasan mo na siya. Okay? Kung baga dapat advance mo mag-isip, ana siya. So usually naman sa critical thinking, uh, nag na siya sa experience or knowledge. Okay, so next, uh, dilita sa skills of visualization. So, it says that it is the ability to imagine what something will look like when it is finished and visualized. How complex components will come together. So, these skills must be flexible and dynamic in order to identify and resolve issues before they can become problems. Okay, so visualization daw is dapat kabulupod mo mo imagine. Correct? So, I think most of the boys, kabulodod sila mo imagine. <laughs> so, dapat uh, na mo skills na ingon na imagination or imagining. You should imagine the things. No? Or complex components on how they will come together. Kung sa'yo maging itsura niya. Dapat bago pa lang mag-start or bago mag-start uh, sa construction, uh, na-imagine na ninyo. Or bago magbuhat o plan, dapat na-imagine sa na ninyo. Because uh, sa inyong imagination, dito man mag-start. Kung wala ninyo na-imagine, wala mo come up to your mind. So dapat i-practice ninyo ang inyong imagination ha. Lalo sa ano, 
uh, during the drawing and planning. Then another skills should develop by a civil engineer is a communication skills. Its ability to communicate effectively with different types of people from a wide variety of backgrounds and expertise. So CE must be skilled active listeners to get the full benefits from the ideas of others and communicate their own ideas both orally and in writing. So dapat sa dapat dili mo shy, shy type or ka nang maulam mo 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 istorya. Dapat karon pa lang i-develop mo ninyo ang inyong pagiging talkative. So I think this is uh, some of the girls has already this type of skills, communication skills. Pero dapat dili lang mo permanente kamo ang tig istorya, dapat ka palupod mo, mo listen. Pero sa mga suggestions sa inyong mga tao sa ubang professions. So usually uh, two heads are better than one, okay? So you should listen actively pod sa ilang mga comments, suggestion mga inyong nana. So, dapat, uh, example, nag-work mo something something sa Davao, tapos namin ko uban Tagalog, tapos dilikay mo, kabulo mo Tagalog. So, may magka-problema. Ikaw, sige, ikaw, binasaya, kasi mong kauban Tagalog. Ano ba, communication skills. Or, naay problema, since maulawon man ka, wala ni mag-isulti sa imong head. Okay, dili kayo ka, kabulo mo explain, mo communicate, ana. So, anong nangyari? pag sa panahon, ah, takuan na siyang problema. Okay, so develop your communication skills para maiwasan ang mga problema sa mga projects or site. Based akong experience before, katong mga ano pa lang ko, fresh. So, usually during project, Uh, sa kwan mga sa mga poor man, once na mag, ang ginahatag na ako sa ila is ano lang, mga plano, no? So, usually, pag naghatag og plano, sa tingin ko, okay na. Pero, during ano na, actual implementation, dagag mali-mali. So, naada yung iban na mga poor man or mga skilled workers na mas kinaan yung plano, dapat naagya po yung mga instruction instruct gaya po niyo sila so that's also part of ano communication skills so bisa naghatag na kag plans dapat naagya po yung actual instructions okay so another skill is the technical skills so it advanced skills in mathematics are crucial to a civil engineering who must apply the appropriate mathematical formulas and principles in his design work as well as the problem solving. So, so maski graduate na ka, professional na ka, so dapat <coughs> kabalugya po sa mga mathematical formulas and principles. So, diligya po siya mawala ang math. Maski nakagraduate na ka, nakapasa na ka sa board exam, naagya po ang mathematics, formulas, and principles. So, kumbaga, part na siya sa atong life as civil engineering. So, civil engineering must be highly skilled in physics and the practical application of scientific rules, methodology, and technology. So, nagihapon siyang physics. No? Actually, uh, kasagaran, mga God, when you are sa, ano, sa operation, kining uban dere is, actually, hindi naman siya ma-apply. Naalay mga selected na jury na applicable so during operation or actual na so pero kung naak sa design design designer ka or planner kana dagan na din sa may encounter na need ni mo ning mga uh, theoretical application so CE must also be skilled in architectural design techniques and working with blueprints maps drawings and models as well as computer program Okay, so dapat kabulod mo sa mga architectural design. So, kabulod mo mo work sa mga blueprints, magbuhat og mga mapa, drawings, and models. 
and computer program ka ng mga AutoCAD, SketchUp, Revit. So, ana dagan pa. Okay. So, if mababa ang inyong technical skills, try to ano try and try <laughs> until you succeed. Okay, try to practice lang ining ng mga skills. Then, the last skills that must have a civil engineer is the project management. So, it's ability to evaluate the work of others on the projects and make sure they are in compliance with applicable laws, regulation, and standards. Okay? So, make sure ang imong project is wala yung mga ginabiolate na laws. So, dapat uh, maayupod ka sa mga laws and regulation and standards. Usually, na ano yung mga section sa batas kung asa ni mo siya pwede makita kini mga laws and regulations okay so their success and reputation depends heavily on their being able to accurately estimate cost so dapat kablo ka estimate resources and materials as well as the time it will take to complete the various aspects of the project so mo ning pinaka crucial kining duration so dapat uh, permanent ka on time and schedule so, dapat, uh, usually, dapat makakuha niyo ang lag or mga behind. Ma-prevent niyo mo. Okay, so, project management skills is ano oh, yung pinakataas na skills na must have sa isa ka civil engineer. So, usually, kini is uh, isa sa mga question na gina-ask during interview, lalo kung nag apply ka sa isa ka construction industry, uh, pero may tigin na pangutan ang iyong ano, management skills. Kung baga, dapat you know how to manage the ano, triple M of a project. So, what are those triple M? One, money. Another is materials and manpower. So, kana nga tulo. Dapat kabulo ka mo, ano, mo handle. Even if you have more money, kung wala kayo daghag manpower and materials, useless gaya po ng imong project. Or, kung dagang kag manpower, tas ka may imong materials, wala po kay money, so, useless gihapon. So, dapat balance na silang tulo. Okay? Or enough ay mong uh, manpower. As wala kay materials. So, useless. Di rin gihapon ka go ang project. Kung wala yung mga materials. So, dapat uh, permanent din sila balance. So, try to manage. Okay? So, uh, one question na uh, gina pang natana na sa ako during interview is ano uh, example uh, you are given a project or sorry you apply in a construction job yet the project is ongoing okay ongoing so nagsugod na ang construction stage but then but then the project was stopped or abandoned tapos ikaw na, na nag uh, ang sunod sa project what will you do? Ana, anang question so in your part a civil engineer so what will you do? so you should apply your technical skills your critical thinking visualization etc so ikaw a civil engineer what will you do? Kung pag, uh, kung baga sa, sa problem, ikaw ang nagsalo sa mga problema. So, gi-abandon siya. Wala na tayo ng project. So, what will you do? So, kung say first, hindi mo nabuhaton kung ingon ana ang imong gi-apply yan. Kung ingon ana, gihatag sa imo na project. Kung baga na sa tunga, wala ka nagsugod. So, pa, kung saan mo siya pag-handle. And 
anyone give uh, ano suggestion okay so usually ang dapat niyo buhaton diha is first sa so dapat check the plan check ni mo ang plano check ni mo ang schedule materials no mali so dapat ang una niyo buhaton is check ni mo ang balance of work kung unsa itong mga ano na human na na complete na base sa uh, gihatag na schedule and scope of work so muna i-check ni mo una ha then once ma-check ni mo to for example uh, human na ang buhos sa uh, ground floor to second floor mga columns beams ganyan then after which i-check ni mo ang plano and the cost at cost estimate the available materials kumpila pa ang available quantity then after which mag quantify na bugag usab i-balance nimo ang na-use sa nabilin so yung ana you should uh, first check the work na nahuman na okay so ayo sa i-check ang plano okay so mo na ang right na answer so kung during interview ma-answer ninyo okay so what are the duties of civil engineers so number one analyze long range plans survey reports maps and other data in order to plan project so mo na ang number one na duties of civil engineer so analyze daw ang mga plano mga survey reports mga mapa and other data. Muna jud yung pinakatama. Data jud. Data analysis. Pero kung ikaw ang nagbuhat sa plano, sa mga plans, dali lang, of course, sa mga maps. Pero kung gikan ni sa ubang engineers or designers, so you should analyze it first. Then Consider construction costs, government regulation, potential environment hazards, and other factors in planning. Make sure na familiar mo sa government mga regulation sa mga government. Then of course, yung construction costs. Always check the ano, bill of materials. Basin unya, uh, nag-exceed na ka sa budget. Sample, eh, 20,000 lang ang budget nimo para sa concreting sa mga columns and footings. Then, iabot na dahil kag 40,000. So, lugi na ka. Okay? Always check your estimate. You should know how to balance. Then, always uh, check food for the hazard, safety, and health concerns of the project bago nimo siya ipa-implement. For example, uh, ang mong project isito ko dahil sa tuktok sa bukid o niya landslide prone na anak. So, always check the safety and the hazard. Okay? Another is the ability to compile and submit permit application to local, state, and federal agencies verifying that projects comply with various regulations. So, dapat ah uh, kabalubod ka unsaon pag submit or pag apply sa mga permit lalo sa mga um, sa mga building permit occupancy permit etc dagang pa lang ang permit so once na maging engineer mo mahip makabalo lagi mo sa ano kanina part okay another duties of civil engineer is to perform oversee, oversee soil testing to determine the adequacy and strength of foundations okay so sa inyong soil mechanics na subject i'm sure ito do ning soil testing on how to perform on how we will check the adequacy of your foundation mojud niya pinaka number one na uh, when you start construction dapat uh, foundation pa lang uh, adequate na or dapat strong na okay, once na magfail fail inyong foundation tanang structures wala mag fail po na so make sure na foundation is uh, 
click on the job then you also have the test uh, duties to test building materials such as concrete asphalt or steel for use in particular projects so now my subjects uh, construction project ay, construction materials testing so dito na siya i-discuss on how to test those materials on how you will uh, know that the material is in is adequate or nasa standard na dili siya mag fail okay then you should also learn how to provide cost estimate for materials equipment or labor to determine in projects economic feasibility so nagihapon ng nagihapon mo yung subject na uh, estimate yung here so ito dito gihapon sa inyo ha how to estimate materials equipment and labors okay na dapat uh, feasible siya or dapat dili mo malugi then duties another duties is you should design software to plan and design transportation systems hydraulic systems and structure in line with industry and government standards so nagyapon to paggamit sa software so you should also know how to perform or oversee surveying operations in order to establish reference points grades and elevations to guide construction so usually uh Dapat ka bulo po yung mga survey. So, nakagaya po may surveying subject. Ito dulo gaya po na sa inyo ha. So, usually sa ubang construction industry, uh, lalo kung tako siya na company, na amoy mga surveyor kada team or a geodetic engineer. So, pag rin na, na, no need na ka mag-survey. Kaya na ano, may geodetic. Dali na lang. Usually sa dako na company, nakakompose na siya og uh, 5 to 20 engineers kompleto jud na siya isa na siya ka team kung na geodetic uh, at least magamay gamay na lang trabaho sa isa ka civil engineer pero pag mga ano lang small small uh, type na company usually kung isa ra kang civil engineer so dapat kinintanan na mga skills and duties kabalo ka tanan kay imuha ta ng trabaho <laughs> na ilisod Pero usually ang mga small na mga company sila pa mga dako mag-password sahod. Kung para ito mga dakong company na magod sila mga standard na. So, first job na ako sa una is na ako sa ana. Gamay na company. Kung sweldo is uh, 9k lang. After pila ka months, iabot og 15k. So, na almost na times 2. Ana. So, dako sila magpasweldo kumpara sa mga dakong company pag naay ma-increase ginagmay lang. Mas kung sa ni mo kamaayo. Okay, another duties is to present findings to the public on topics such as bid proposals, environmental impact statements or descriptions of property. So, dapat ka balupod ka mo ano sa during bidding. Okay, present ni mo siya ang mga bidding proposals kini kung naaka sa mga ano contractor na side then the environmental impact so kana na anay uh, cost pero nang tinap then you should also know how to manage the repair maintenance and replacement of public and private infrastructure so kung kabalo ka syempre mo uh, construct build or plan sa isa ka infrastructure dapat kabalo pod ka mo maintain or kung naay mga daot mo replace or mag-renovate mga anak. Then, the last duties is to inspect projects and tasks enduring safe work practices are followed at construction site. So, mauna siyang ginatawag na safety and health. So, maudyon na ang ginaingon nyo lang na safety first. So, bago ka mag-start sa imong sa ka-project, make sure nag-check sa nimo ang safety. Na dapat wala yung madisgrasya, lalo nang mamatay sa during construction of your ano project. Okay? So, do you have any questions? If you have some questions, just leave it in the comment section. Okay? And for your assignment, we have to do assignment number 3. So, ang format lang is same gaya po sa assignment number 2. So, handwritten gaya po siya. So, self-evaluation lang. So, ibutan lang ninyo itong mga skills. Dire, 1 to 6. Uh, 
leadership skills, critical thinking, ana skills antod sa project management. Then but i-rate niyo siya. Self evaluation. So i-rate niyo ang inyong sarili. Okay, kung good ba mo, fair or poor. So kung good kung good then sa remarks kung good so give an example to substantiate your answer so mag hatag mag example na ano na kaingon mo good mo then fair it there is a remarks kung anong fair ang inyong gibutang and kung poor kung sa inyong plano na buhaton na ma-improve kato na skills okay so handwritten lang pati itong table ah tanan then picture and then submit sa tong LMS canvas. Okay? And for assignment number 4, same format gyapon sa si assignment number 3. So write your name, your year and section, title, then date, then self assessment. So based sa mga duty sa civil engineer, list down the top 3 na pinaka uh, gusto ninyo. Then, of course, explain gap on your answer. Anong sila ang inyong pinaka top 3? Or sila ba is applicable sa inyong uh, characters? O ang inyong anak. Okay? Then, the last question, based on our discussion today, do you still want to pursue civil engineering course based on your answers? Kaya pa ba? So, kinis orientation pa lang ni Kasi sa pag-abot sa next sem, daga na nag-ship. So, try to evaluate yourself. Sa inyong mga skills. Kung makaya ba ninyo siya. Para at least habang sayo-sayo pa, makapag-decide naman kung if you will continue or mag-ship naman sa laing course. Okay? Laban? Laban. GG. Okay? So, if yes, congratulations, you may proceed to next lesson. But first, have a break, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> Kung wala may Kit Kat, anhi mo din sa office. Pwede mo mangutang. <laughs> sa 7-Eleven. Okay, joke. Okay. Uh, so, have a good day and goodbye. See you next meeting. Bye.